Good morning. I'm Beth Melton with Jason Lacey, and this is your daily update for Monday, April 6th. As of this morning, 343 tests have been conducted, and we're holding at 29 positive results, and 22 individuals have recovered. The Chamber has extended the deadline for businesses to fill out the Economic Impact Survey to Wednesday. This survey helps gauge impacts locally, assist in aid, and will guide recovery. Check out steamboatchamber.com. The second installment of the nonprofit town hall takes place tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. This session follows up a very informative discussion last week on resources, programs, and assistance from various nonprofit organizations. Part two sees Northwest Health, Integrated Community, Reps, and Route County on Aging sharing valuable information with the community. We appreciate everyone letting us know of social gatherings. Understand that if you're reporting an incident, law enforcement can only respond to violations in process. To make a report, call the non-emergency number 879-1110 and use 911 for emergencies only. The Veteran Service Office is available to help vets by phone or email. Staff hours run Monday from 8 to noon and Wednesday and Friday from 8 to 4. Call 970-870-5469 or look online at the county's website. Human Services continues to receive reports of child abuse and neglect. We are actively working these cases and meeting with the children and families in person. If you or anybody you know suspects child abuse or neglect, please call the Colorado Child Abuse Hotline at 844-CO-4KIDS. That's 844-264-5437. Thanks, Beth. On the city side, with spring in the air and fewer cars on the road, city crews will be using the time to clean the landscape medians and traffic circles along US Highway 40 and Mount Werner Road. The city operates under an MS4 stormwater program and a particulate matter PM10 air quality program from the state. These permits require that the city take measures to control particulates from entering the air and waterways. Cleaning medians goes toward ensuring the city meets these requirements and work will run from 8 to 4 Monday through Friday this week and will start in the Mount Werner area before moving to US 40 next week. If out for essential errands, please slow down around the project zone. Um, on Howlson Hill, due to current snow conditions, Nordic grooming on the Bluffs Loop has ended for the season. Crews will continue to provide regular grooming on Emerald Meadows for the remainder of the week and then periodically as conditions permit. Blackmer and the Emerald Trail system remain open for outdoor recreation. As the snow continues to melt, trail users are urged to practice proper trail etiquette and refrain from hiking or biking on wet and muddy trails. Watch for crews to start removing snow from the face and terrain park this week at Howlson and please stay out of those areas while work is underway. Uh, City Council is set to hold its next regular meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, April 7th. The meeting will be conducted online just like last week's special meeting. Citizens wishing to make public comment or to pull an item from the consent calendar will be able to call in to do that. And please check the city's website for instructions on how to go about making a comment or pulling an item from the consent calendar. To end to today's point of positivity for the Parks and Rec activity kits, these were a huge hit and we appreciate all city staff's work to put these together for the kids. And don't worry, more activity kits are on the way. I know those ran out pretty quickly the last time those came out. And please look for more announcements to come as those become available again. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow.